Elaine, what, uh, what does Disability Rights mean? Disability Rights Maine is uh, an organization, it's Maine's p &A, and what we do, it's a protection and advocacy agency. So for folks that uh, have disabilities or are experiencing barriers in the community, we have lawyers and advocates that can uh, assist people in overcoming those barriers. And you also provide various services for these for these people as well, is that correct? We do. Mm -hmm. um, we do some technology. We have a couple of technology programs so we can assist people in getting set up with uh, assistive technology. One of the services that you provide is the main relay service. Talk about that for a bit. Uh, the main relay service is the service by which people that are deaf, hard of hearing, late deafened, or have difficulty speaking can access the telephone system. So for someone that can't pick up a standard telephone and have a conversation effectively, we have a couple of services that can help them do that. And who can use this service? Anyone who falls into one of those categories uh, that is deaf, hard of hearing, late deafened, or has difficulty speaking. And how does it work? What happens is a person would pick up their telephone uh, or a, a specific device, depending on which relay service they're attempting to connect to, and they would dial 711 and be connected to a captioning or a relay assistant. And what that person will do is act as a go-between for their communication. So if a person is using a TTY, that's something that most people are pretty familiar with. What a deaf person would do, a deaf person who doesn't speak, or a person who also maybe has had a laryngectomy, someone who doesn't speak for another reason could use a TTY to access the service in this way. So what they would use is a TTY, and they would call 711 to connect to that relay assistant. They would type their message, and that relay assistant would speak the message to the person on the other end of the line. And when that person speaks their response, the message would then be typed up and would come up on the TTY display. And there are also other types of services uh, as well within the main relay service. Talk about those for a bit. Okay, so there are also caption phone options. So for folks that uh, still that have grown up using English and speak on the telephone but can't maybe hear the response, what, they, what we have are caption telephones that are available. And through that, they would speak on the phone and the uh, other person on the other end of the line would hear that and respond to it and whatever that response is would be captioned and come up on a, a display on their telephone so that they would be able to read essentially a full transcript of the conversation in addition to being able to hear what they still may be able to hear over the phone. It's very similar to captioning on the television if anybody uses uh, TV captions. And then there's also a service for folks that have difficulty speaking. It's called Speech to Speech Relay. And what happens there is a person would use their telephone, whatever telephone they have in their home. They would connect to a relay assistant, but this is, would be for someone who maybe has had a stroke and now their speech pattern is difficult to hear or understand. It may be very easy for family or friends who speak with that person often to understand what they're saying, but if they're trying to call and order a pizza or uh, connect with their doctor's office. The person on the other end of the line that doesn't interact with them often may have difficulty understanding what they're trying to get across. So they would pick up their phone, call the relay assistant, and in this for this specific relay service, these relay assistants are specially trained in various speech patterns. So they would then revoice whatever the person has said so that it's a smooth communication to the person on the other end of the line. And that person also has the option of turning their voice off. So if I'm self-conscious about what I now sound like, the person on the other end of the line maybe never hears my voice. They only hear the relay assistant. It sounds kind of complicated with all these choices. Do you help people manage and navigate their way to find out what the best equipment for them is? Yes. Yeah, so we provide outreach services for Hamilton, who is the relay provider in the state of Maine. And so that can look like training for someone who is trying to use one of these services. If someone uh, wants to give us a call and find out what their options are, if they have difficulty using the telephone, we can definitely walk them through the options and see which one is the best match for them and then offer them some training so that they are really comfortable using the service and that they can use it effectively. Do they have to buy the equipment themselves? No. So uh, if in terms of the speech-to-speech -speech relay, there's no special equipment that needs to be purchased. You can just use whatever phone you currently have. DRM has a couple of other programs that can help provide the equipment at no cost. And Hamilton Relay also has programs that can help provide equipment at no cost to the user. And is there a cost to actually use the service, uh, like permanent charge? No, no, there's no cost for that. Uh, it's a federally funded program and the, the captions or the relay service are provided at no cost again to the end user. They would just need to pay their phone bill uh, and some of the equipment does connect to the internet but there are non-internet options for folks that don't have internet in their homes. So they would pay those two bills as they normally would for whatever phone equipment they're currently using.
And if people want more information about this service, find out what equipment they need or how to access it, where can they go for more information? Um, they can come here to us. So we are in, we have an office in Portland and an office in Augusta, but we also travel the state. Uh, so for folks that are looking for training in their homes, we can offer that. They can call us here in Portland. The number is 207-797-7656. Or if they're looking for some more information, they can get some online. The website is merelay.com.